Hi, I'm Michael from Podio, and I'm going to walk you through how you can get started collaborating on projects on Podio. When you've set up Podio for your team, it'll look something like this. I'm in a complete Podio workspace. You can see my team here, the apps we use to manage our projects, and the stream that keeps us up to date with all of our activities. Now you're setting up your first project, the first thing you'll need, if you haven't already, is to create a Podio workspace. I do this by clicking on the Workspace Navigation in the top left corner of Podio, then by choosing Create New Workspace. For this example, I'll call this workspace Project Management, and I'm going to make this workspace private so only the people I invite here will be able to view and interact with the content. Now I have the option to invite my coworkers to the workspace. I can either invite them via email, or if they're already on Podio, I can just select them from the drop-down list. I'll write them a quick message and then add them to the workspace. Now I need to choose some apps. Podio apps are the tools that you use to organize and track all of your work. I click the Add App icon and go to the Free App Market, which provides some basic templates of apps that you can customize later. I'll pick this project management pack of apps to get started and I'll add them to the new workspace. Of these apps, the Projects app will enable us to define the overall goals and scope of the project. The Deliverables app will break down the project into assignable pieces, and the Meetings app will enable us to schedule meetings. So let's create the first project. I go to the Projects app and click the green Add button. I'll give the project a title, an owner, and a time frame. I can then continue to describe the project and what we're trying to achieve. Once I'm done, here's how it'll look. Now I can save the project and move on to the Deliverables app. This is where the workload of the project is broken down with each deliverable assigned to a team member with its own deadline. I'll add the first deliverable. Since our project is to develop a new brand identity for one of our clients, this deliverable will be for a designer to explore typography concepts to present to our client. I'll just fast forward adding a deadline, choosing an owner and writing a description to the point where you can see that I link this deliverable to the project that it's related to. This is an important step and makes it very easy to keep all your project's pieces organized. I can then see that I've only got three choices of status to choose for each deliverable I create, but I'd like to add a sign-off stage for our work, so I need to add a new choice here. I do this by clicking the Modify Template button, and then I can see all the fields that are used in the template of this app. I can actually rename or remove any of these fields, or add new ones by simply dragging them from left to right. Firstly, I'll add the new status choices in this category field for sign off and approval. And then I'll pick some colors for these choices. I'll also add a progress slider, which will give us a quick visual way to indicate how far we are with our work. I'll click Done, and the changes I've made are saved. And then I'll save this deliverable, so you can see it here in the Deliverables app. Now I can go ahead and create the rest of the deliverables for my team. I'll fast forward this too, so you can see how it looks once I'm done. We've got deliverables to look into competitor research, create a brand footprint, style guide, and more with different deadlines that fit the order of the work that we're going to do. And the great thing is everyone on this project, no matter what their role is, will be able to see this same overview. While my team gets started on the work, I'll set up a new view in this app to track our progress. I can change the layout of this app to card layout, which will display all of the deliverables based on their status. I can also filter them, for example, to just show me the deliverables with a deadline in the coming week. Now I can save this combination of layout and filter as a view. I'll make it shared with my team and split the view by owner. Now everyone working on this project can get a specific view of their deliverables with upcoming deadlines just by clicking on their name. That's a lot about setting up your projects, but now let's look at collaborating on getting the work done. If I go to the workspace activity stream, you can see all the content that I've been creating in our apps is shown here, 
and that my team have started discussing the work with comments on the various deliverables. When I click on one of the deliverables the team are discussing, I can also see that Daniel, our copywriter, has attached some ideas in a Google Doc using Podio's Google Drive integration. You can attach and share files anywhere in Podio, and when you do so, you have the choice to choose from any file storage service that you use. To the right of the content, I can see a log of all the activity that's happened around this item. In the long run, this gives you a valuable and transparent history of your work to help you evaluate how your projects are run. In the short term, it's a great way to have an in-context conversation to keep everyone on the same page. Right now, I can share my thoughts by adding a comment here, and I can loop somebody new into the discussion by using an at mention. I simply strike the at symbol on my keyboard and then begin to type their name. Going back to my apps overview by clicking the app's name, I know all the deliverables will be stored and organized here. But I'll quickly show you how you can add further customization to your workspace to increase the visibility of everyone's responsibilities. Now I'm on the workspace's home, you can see that to the right of the activity stream I have some tiles. For now, I don't want this task tile, so I'm going to remove it and instead I'll add a report from the Deliverables app. The report will display a count of all the deliverables owned by each team member. I'll give it a title and then I'll click Save Report. Now you can see how the report appears as a tile. Now anyone, as soon as they enter the workspace, can click their name and see just the deliverables they're in charge of completing. And that's all the basics for running a project on Podio. There's plenty more tips and tricks available in the Podio Help Centre at help.podio.com. You can also write to our team there and we'll be happy to give you any advice regarding any questions you have. Thanks for watching.